He was given away that kept anywhere where the moon is above the horizon, which is above half the world. But here, say, conditions are absolutely perfect here in Celsius. A lovely eclipse moon in a starlit sky, and believe me, it's really worth seeing. I see a beautiful eclipse. The colours are very strange. You can see the entire moon quite clearly. And of course, if you've got binoculars, have an even better view. Uh, I must say it's quite safe. There's no danger of gifts on the moon. So look at it with binoculars or telescopes, you have an even better view. You see there are some of the dark areas on the moon's surface and the light effects near the top. But I say it's um, a lovely eclipse. And uh, although a total eclipse on the moon hasn't got the awe-inspiring grandeur of an eclipse of the sun, it does have a quiet beauty all its own. Believe me, it's worth going to see. It's a perfect night, I may say, and then the garden outside my observatory, and conditions are perfect. And there in the sky is the eclipse moon. You can see it quite clearly, it doesn't disappear. As you know, all the light reaching the eclipse moon goes there via the Earth's atmosphere, and the moon turns a sort of dim, coppery color. There's a strange pinkish area that I've not seen before. The Earth goes around the Sun, the Moon goes around the Earth. Therefore, sometimes the three bodies line up. And the Earth casts a cone of shadow in space. If the Moon goes into the cone of shadow, all direct sunlight is cut off. Because the Moon depends upon reflecting light from the Sun. So when it goes into the shadow, that sunlight is cut off. But the Earth is surrounded by a layer of air, and that air bends or reflects sunlight onto the Moon's surface. So the Moon doesn't use it, it's a completely. It's total now, and it only doesn't end before two minutes to midnight. So make the most of it. My birthday is on March the 4th, and the eclipse ends just two minutes before my birthday. I wonder it especially. <laughs>